All right, let's talk about Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen to the Chicago Bears and what was a surprise trade. Not, not a shocker because the Chargers do have to clear up space, but still a surprise. And I think a really good move by the Chicago Bears. So first, I want to talk about uh, kind of Keenan Allen, the player, and the situation, the logic behind this from the Bears, and then we'll get into kind of towards the end of the video, we'll get some more general thoughts on it. But yeah, for now, you see him showing a Bears play. This is why they're trying to add Keenan Allen, because I think they looked at the Justin Fields situation and said, you know what? That was kind of a almost a panic move at the time. They didn't have enough talent around Fields to make things work. And it kind of, you know, they didn't give Fields maybe a fair shot. And at the end of the day, it is what it is. Like, his rookie contract's almost over. You got to move on, especially when you have an opportunity to draft a prospect as good as Caleb Williams. But, like, this play is exactly what they're trying to avoid with Williams. You see the concept on your screen. It's a concept that can work against zone coverage. However, when it begins, Fields looks in that direction. And what's open, the answer is nothing. So, while the receiving core did get a lot better with DJ Moore, it still was nowhere near where it needed to be. Justin Fields, to his credit, is going to do what he can. Scrambles out, tries to find something. Eventually finds Cole Komet, but the ball gets knocked out incomplete so you know is what it is and listen I think Fields did a great job at these kind of you know off script stuff uh in his years for Chicago but he also would make some mistakes when there's pressure because that's just what happens when things aren't getting open like it makes it tougher to develop as a player and you almost got Fields to the point where he learned some bad traits he was only trying to scramble and things like that simply because it was working so rarely for Caleb Williams you don't want him to learn bad traits you want him to kind of you know say oh if I throw it to a receiver there he'll get open and it'll work out like that's what you want those are the traits you you would rather have in a quarterback so then let's go over here now so you see the concept and you see Keenan Allen's route on the screen okay not the most complex route or anything like that but let's see how it works out Justin Herbert is going to take the snap he looks over in that direction and is this open like not really it's not like it's oh yeah you gotta throw it here but if you look at Herbert, he's in the throwing motion. Like, he's going to make this throw. Like, he's saying, I trust Keenan Allen to make this play. And as you see, it's sort of a back shoulder throw, and Keenan Allen does, in fact, make the play. And this can kind of teach you good lessons about, like, okay, I got to throw it more back shoulder. I got to throw it here to where my receivers can get it. It allows you to push the ball down the field and develop as a passer, which is the opportunity that Fields never got. A play like this is also another one where what Allen can bring to the table is something like this, where it's a cover two zone. That's what you're going up against if you're the Chargers. That's where Keenan Allen is on the screen. Okay, well, sure. Let's see how this works out. Herbert is going to take the snap. He looks over and you see, I mean, Allen's such a good route runner. You see how he's getting that corner to move further towards the middle of the field. Here's the other thing you want with Keenan Allen. Like, yes, you want the quarterback to develop as a passer, but part of it is you want things to just work out. You want things to just be easy because there will probably be a learning curve. And if you can at the very least scheme up and, you know, just uh, have your receivers get open targets, it can just make things easier, make it easier for you to win right away and kind of get the attention off you a little bit. No one's making fun of Caleb Williams if his box score stats are better, even if he's playing just as well. Because watch how on this one, Herbert is going to find and hit Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen's able to scramble up and pick up a you know first down on that play. Well done by Keenan Allen. And again, it's those kind of simple plays. But also, again, if, it, if it's Williams, this can allow him to kind of understand, oh, okay, that now is when I have to make the throw. It helps you get timing down and things like that. If, you know, uh, if this was a Bears play and a receiver isn't getting open, now Fields has to scramble. Listen, Caleb Williams can scramble. You don't want him to, though. You want him to pass first. Having a good receiver is how you can develop those habits. And again, something like this, where what's going to happen is, so this is going to be a zone coverage play, but it's quarters coverage, and you see Keenan Allen's route. It's a deep route. And one lesson you also want to teach your young quarterback is, hey, if your best receiver has a one-on-one -on -one matchup down in the field, throw it to your best receiver. Now, Herbert's going to take the snap. He's going to look in Keenan Allen's direction. He fires in Keenan Allen's direction. And right here, there is a window. This is a well-done job by uh, you know Her uh, Herbert to make an accurate throw, of course. But honestly, when that ball gets there, I mean, like, you know, there, again, there was a window. And even if it wasn't perfect, Allen could have made that play. The reason that play works, though, is, you know, Herbert reads the play. Oh, 
that's where I should go with the football. Makes sense. But when Justin Fields would do this to someone who's not DJ Moore, a lot of times what would happen is it would get knocked away or maybe even intercepted. And then Fields, you know, started to learn the wrong lessons. And he wouldn't push the ball down the field, even when he should have, even when it was DJ Moore one-on-one down the field. Sometimes he would look to scramble instead. You don't want that to happen with Caleb Williams. At the end of the day, the biggest indicator of success at the quarterback position is situation you're drafted into. Like, it's still not a great indicator of future success at the quarterback position. Like, trying to figure out which rookie quarterback is going to succeed and which isn't is really hard, and you never really know. But it does feel like there is some evidence to say that if you're in a better situation, you have a higher hit rate. And to me, that little evidence... uh, you know, alone is enough for me to say that's probably the preferred strategy. I really think that this is exactly what the Bears should be doing. Of Let's try and build as good of a situation for a quarterback as possible. Let's draft the best quarterback we can. And if it doesn't work out, well, then it doesn't work out. But that's the best you can do. And even if it doesn't work out, well, then, you know, maybe, you know, you can move off of him and draft another guy. And now you have a good situation for the other guy, right? So at the end of the day, having guys like Keenan Allen and DJ Moore who like, you know, I think you could argue with Keenan Allen. Like he does, he is someone who has gotten injured in the past. That's that's a that's a negative. It is. It's a negative. It's something you have to pay attention to. But I still feel like the you know, even if he's not there every game, him being out there enough, and he you know he did play uh, over 700 snaps last season. Uh, even if he's out there like you know uh, 700 snaps, that's still valuable. And it's one of those things as well where I mean. He's really kind of been one of the more underrated players since he's been in the league. He, you know, everyone thinks that their favorite wide receiver is underrated, right? Like, I'm sure Bears fans are watching this video and think that DJ Moore is underrated because he's their receiver, right? That's just how how it works. But Keenan Allen, it's kind of fair. Like, he has been an underrated player for a while. And you're not spending a ton of resources to go out and get him. And, you know, 31 years old should still be good for the next year or two. Granted, you're drafting Caleb Williams, hopefully, to be good for the next 15 years. Allen's not going to be around that long right? But it's more about the help, helping out the development of him more so than I think just trying to win right now. It can help you win right now. It can, but getting a good receiver can go a long way. Again, he's not the only, that's not the only thing they need, but it also does other things, right? Where Keenan Allen, who can now be a number one receiver, and I think that's how they're going to view it. I think they're going to view Allen as one or DJ Moore as two. Uh, maybe it's the other way around. But let's just assume Keenan Allen is viewed as the number one receiver. Well, then th- what that also does is it makes DJ Moore a number two receiver, and now he's an awesome number two receiver. It makes Cole Komet a third option instead of two years ago when he was a first option on a lot of plays, right? Uh, it just opens the door so much for everyone else to succeed. Succeed, And it can allow Caleb Williams to maybe even make some mistakes that work out because they still result in completions instead of, uh, you know, have scenarios where the, the opposite happens and where he makes the correct read and has it turn into an incompletion and then says, well, I got to stop doing that, even one that's still maybe what you should be doing. So, again, very interesting situation that the Chicago Bears are in. But to me, this is exactly, I think, even more so than the move itself, which I think is very smart. This is exactly the correct mindset to have, right? And I think that's what gets you excited if you're a Bears fan. Who knows if Caleb Williams is going to hit? Well, we're all going to give our hot takes and everyone's going to act like they know. And then, you know, the people that are wrong are going to pretend like they never said anything. And then people that are right are going to brag about it for the next decade. But the reality is none of us actually know if Williams is going to hit or not. All you can do is put him in the best position to succeed. And I think that the Chicago Bears are doing their best to do that. I think, you know, uh, maybe an offensive lineman or two could help. But uh, for the most part, the receiving core is looking good. Still room for improvement, but they're, you know, moving in the correct, the smart direct, they're moving in a smart direction here. So yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.